So thank you so much for welcoming us in your office, sir. I'm grateful. Thank you and welcome. I'm going through the statement and just a little bit of clarity from you. So what does it mean that you're finally beginning commercial production or exploration is starting or what does it actually mean? So um, yeah, Springfield have signed uh, an agreement with uh, a drilling company called Stena for a rig called the Stena Fort um, uh, to drill uh, two wells and potentially additional wells um, later on uh, in a water depth of 1,700 meters, 1,700 meters water depth for one of the fields and another uh, field which is uh, 1,100 meters water depth. Mm -hmm. It definitely goes deeper. It goes mm. about 3,000 meters deeper after that. Mm. So we, we've actually signed um, with, um, with, with the rig company as the first ever African company to own and operate in deep offshore and to sign a contract mm. for a rig to drill in deep offshore. A lot of uh, technical jargons in your explanation <laughs> trying to break things down for us to understand. But just to uh, break it down, that, so what does, okay. is it still prospecting or from? What is happening, it means that we can go full haul uh, commercial production. Um, so we have to, after this drilling campaign, is when we will be able to tell you that from this asset, we're going to produce this number of barrels a day, and it's going to take us this amount of time mm -hmm. to be in production. So we need this information. I don't know if you remember, but a few years ago, two years ago, we brought the biggest seismic vessel in the world mm -hmm. called the Ramford Titan. Um, which is owned by PGS, to shoot 3D broadband seismic. So what that did is it gave us, you know, a clear picture of where we think the natural resources are, mm -hmm. which is what has helped us to target where we are going to drill. So we need this drilling campaign to be able to be well informed of exactly our production profiles. Mm -hmm. So we hope that, you know, it's going to be, uh, we're going to get commercial quantities mm -hmm. In the, in the very next few few months. Mm. In, in terms of uh, steps or um, percentage, because that's what often excites a lot of people, the, the general public out there, for those who don't appreciate the workings of uh, oil production. The next thing they want to hear is that when is this company beginning commercial production? How are they, f I mean, through the process? So from what is going to happen now, is it just uh, two steps away or three steps away, holding all other things constant or that? then it's successful, then you roll out. Um, so we are basically, I mean, this phase, I would say, is one step away mm -hmm. from, you know, um, being in production. So we are just one step away. We just drilled this. We will ascertain, um, you know, how things would, you know, how, how the resource will come out. Um, first of all, we have to find, make sure that there's commercial quantities and how it will come out, how it will flow um, um, uh, to, to, the sea, um, to the sea level and, you know, to be processed and beyond. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we just... Yeah, one step away from, um, from you know, commercial production. For Springfield and for you, Mr. Kevin Ochi, what does this development, how do you take this development? Well, I, I mean, I must honestly say that, you know, um, I feel like we are blessed um, to be in this opportunity. Um, you need to think about it, you know, on the entire African continent. There are, now, there are some amazing companies, African companies doing, you know, very, very well, but they are all either onshore or shallow water. The deep water area had been primarily left for, you know, Western and, and other international um, uh, non-African companies. So to think of it as Springfield is the first African company. It is our first asset. It is our first, you know, oil block that we are working on. And, uh, you know, for, you to, for us to think that we are the first company in the whole world, I mean, just an African company, to actually own and operate and to drill in deep water, I think it's something that has to be celebrated by all Ghanaians and all Africans because it's definitely going to inspire Africans, it's beyond Ghanaians, to actually look into venturing into deep out in, into the deep water space. How has the process been like for you? I mean, I, I knew you've been in this space for quite a long time, that being just a step away from getting to your last lap, how have you taken this process? How has it been like for you? What do you make of that? Finally, we are closer to our vision of getting there. You know, what, what you need to understand is, uh, you know, th it takes time. You know, so you have to have um, the spirit of persistence and, and a lot of prayers. We actually started trying to work on this in 2006, mm -hmm. trying to get an, you know, an oil block in Ghana, but we were told we didn't have the financial and technical capability. So we started in 2008 to work on building the financial and technical capability. 
And then in 2012, we reapplied for this. Uh, we applied for another block. We got in 2016. And then we, we are in 2019. So if you look at it, it takes time. You know, and you know, a lot of times we don't have patience. When something is not really going our way, we tend to just you know, pack it or forget about it and go move on to the next, next one. So to us, you know, it's, 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 it's a long journey, although it seems like yesterday. It's a really long journey, but we think that it's a journey worth you know, taking all over mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. You talked about financial muscle in terms of being used as a reason for having challenges previously in getting this block. I mean, how are you driving this process? How are you funding this process? Are you bringing some investors on board? Are you doing debt, equity? How are you driving this? So, um, you know, we, we uh, Springfield, actually own 84% um, shares in this oil block. Um, the GMPC and its subsidiary, which is s -Bloco, own the rest. Um, we have been funding this through our other businesses, so the profits from our other businesses. You know, as you know, we, we have trading businesses and other, other, uh, other businesses which goes beyond the boundaries of Ghana. We are in other West African countries, and we are actually in other European countries. We do business all over the continent in terms of the world, um, all over various continents. And so the profit that we are making from our business is what we have reinvested in Ghana, and that's what we have reinvested in, in this oil block. So yes, it is. It's a it's a capital intensive. Um, uh, it's a capital intensive um, industry. However, we see this as something. We see this risk as a risk which is worth pursuing, mm -hmm. and we are excited, very very excited, to have made the investments that we've made to get us where we are mm -hmm. right now. I think you know, after our drilling campaign, I mean, we have a lot of banks who um, we've been dealing with. There are a lot of um, you know, companies who have been engaging with us. You know, so once opportunities, there are some opportunities that always come by. Once opportunity fits our strategy, we we'll definitely consider it. I think you're talking about strategy. I mean, what's the plan going for? Because some will say that this business is quite a capital intensive area and uh, you can think about $200 million, $500 million into a venture or an activity and nothing will come up. Uh, going forward, are you still doing the line on your business, uh, looking at debt or maybe equity that could help? drive this whole activity? So, I mean, for now, um, with this, um, uh, where we are right now, where we're looking at, you know, self-funding through our own means. And as I said, you know, we are in, you know, there are banks and other um, entities who have expressed interest, but once the opportunity looks feasible and reasonable for us and is in line with our strategy in terms of what we, when we want to be in production and, you know, and, and, and the terms work for us and work for the Ghanaian um, government as well and the people of Ghana as well, we would definitely consider it. So, you know, no one, no one company usually owns this 100%. So mm -hmm. at some point, we expect that we are going to um, bring, in, bring in people, whether, as you said, whether it was via listing the company or it was through debt or it was through partnership. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are going to get there eventually. But for now, we know we will keep on going. Mm. We will keep on going. Is the lesson more of a, a, a favorable option, or the partnership is a favorable option for you? Well, I mean, I don't know if, if you heard, but um, London Stock Exchange, you know, um, listed or, 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 or uh, pointed out to the fact that Springfield um, is a company to inspire in 2019. So they could, they, in 2000, late 2018, they saw that we are a company to reckon with. We are a company that have a very bright future. Um, so, you know, we have, we are looking at all those options. Our auditors, are, you know, we are working towards becoming listing ready, like, you know, uh, IPO ready. Mm -hmm. However, we are not so, at this very moment, we are not sure which option might be the best, but all options are technically on the table. Mm -hmm. that we, we will so the London chance. alternate market may be possibly not the main market and even the local market here. Yes, in yes, change. yes. So that's why I said, we are, you know, we are going to work to become, uh, we are working to become IP ready. It also helps you with your structures, your internal structures to make sure everything is worked, you know, your, your accounting processes, all your processes are, are, are in line with international practices. Mm -hmm. So even if we choose not to list, we are still going to be always IP ready. Should we ever change our mind at any point in time mm -hmm. to list? And mm -hmm. we are, we are, there are no exceptions. It could be the Ghana market, it could be the South Africa um, uh, stock exchange, it could be the UK, it could be the US, it could be anywhere that mm -hmm. is favorable for us. Mm. All other things being equal again, hoping that uh, being positive here and being hopeful here and optimistic here that uh, this activity comes out as successful. Uh, what is the plan that you're working with that by half year, 